Okay, so in this video we want to look at computing the arc length of a curve, let's say alpha t, parameterized by some parameter t, which we'll write as x of t, y of t. This is vector notation, so we can also write this as x of t i plus y of t j. The examples in this video are going to be for curves in R2, but the same applies for curves in R3 and any dimension. So let's say we look at this curve alpha t between some initial time and some final time. So we want to calculate the length of this region. Then the formula we're going to use is L equals the integral from A to B of the square root of dx dt squared plus dy dt squared, all square rooted and then we'll have a dt. If we're in R3, then we'll have a dz dt term under this square root. Okay, so let's apply that in this example. So compute the arc length of the curve alpha t equals 3 cos t, 3 sine t. Uh, this should be where t is between 0 and 2 pi. So what we have here is we need to calculate the derivative, so alpha dot of t. Uh, you can also write this as alpha prime of t. And this will be minus 3 sine t, 3 cos t. And now we just take the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the square root of minus 3 sine t squared plus 3 cos t squared dt. This is the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 9 sine squared t plus 9 cos squared t. Number dt there. And then we use the Pythagorean identity, which says that sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1. So in particular, this is just the square root of 9 dt. And the square root of 9 is 3, so I have the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 3 dt, which is just 6 pi. Now we actually didn't need to do this computation if we realized what this curve was parameterizing. We can see that if we set x equal to 3 cos t and y equal to 3 sine t, then what we end up with is uh, x squared plus y squared equals 9 cos squared t plus sine squared t plus 9 sine squared t and this is just the just 9 by the Pythagorean identity so it's it's a circle of radius 3 and it's a full revolution around the circle so we should expect the arc length to be 2 pi r which is 2 pi times 3 which is 6 pi and this is what we got here Okay, let's look at a different example. Find the arc length of the curve x of t equals 3t squared, y of t equals 2t cubed between 0 and 1. So we have x prime of t is 6t and y prime of t is 6t squared. So the length, the arc length will be the integral from 0 to 1, specified by here square root of 36 t squared plus 36 t to the 4 dt. We can simplify this a little bit. We can factor out a 36 t squared and what we'll be left with is 1 plus t squared dt. We can take the 36t squared out, and so what we end up with is 6t square root of 1 plus t squared. 
Now we can use a substitution to determine this integral. So we can write u as 1 plus t squared. Then du is 2t dt. The bounds change. If t equals 1, I get uh, u equals 2. If t equals 1. And I get u equals 1 if t equals 0. So what this integral becomes is the integral from 1 to 2 of 6t square root of u. Then dt is now du over 2t. The t's cancel, so I get an integral from 1 to 2 of 3 square root of u, but I'll just write that as 1 to the half, uh, u to the 1 half, dot du. And now this is just 3 times the integral from 1 to 2 of u to the 1 half du, which is 3 times uh, 2 over 3 u to the 3 halves, 1 to 2. And this just becomes 2, 2 to the 3 halves minus 1 to the 3 halves. Here the 3's cancel and I can take the 2 out. So what I have is, well, 2 to the 3 halves is the square root of 8, which I can write as 2 times the square root of 2 minus 1. And so if I expand this out, I get 4 root 2 minus 2. And that's it.